Hello, this is Yuki Kudo speaking from Japan. I'm one of the key note speakers for the Lot Yuen related event, but unfortunately, I can't really participate simultaneously with you. So, I have actually taken this video to share with you the situations that、um, have been taking place here in Japan regarding the E or telemedicines, I mean, which is the topic of this Yuen related. The conference or the meeting.、Um, I have actually studied law at the University of Tokyo, I mean, Faculty of Law, and the both I mean, undergraduate and the postgraduate as well. I have also、um, have got a Master's of Science MC in Economics from LSE, London School of Economics and Political Science, where I have met one of the organizers, Amali. Hello, Amali. <laughs>、uh, well, I mean, this is actually, I mean, Another education I have actually had done is, I mean, well,、uh, Defense I mean, Institute I mean, of France, I mean, IHADN de Paris de France, where I have actually got the diploma. And after working at JP Morgan and McKinsey and Company as a fin financial related corporate officer, I have, I mean, basically working in the media industry. Both as a broadcaster, a newscaster, and a commentator, and also as an author of the non fiction books, as well as the well, I mean, current affairs I mean, matters. And as for the e medicine here in Japan, there are many aspects I would like to point out as one of the、um, difficulties of inaction or installment of this I mean, new system. Called telemedicine or e medicine, or here in Japan, quite often called as online medicine. One of the difficulties, first of all, is the kind of, I mean, the inhibition in mind on the side of the doctors, especially. I mean, what that I mean here is that 80% of the Japanese medical facilities or the doctors, even though our system here in Japan is quite similar to the UK,、um, Regarding the GP, but at the same time, it's not at all like GP. People are here in Japan able to go to any doctors that they like to go to. So, I mean, the doctors' inhibitance took place in their mind because that I mean, 80% of the Japanese medical facility facilities are private, and that means the installment cost of the e medicine. Together with a kind of fear on the side of the doctors, as if that they might actually lose the patients, and、um, the kind of economic factor like that become or became quite、uh, inhibition, I mean, in the instalment of the system. And also, I mean, Japanese I mean, e medicine started quite late, unlike in some of the European countries, I mean, which are quite, I mean, Well, depending on the e medicine, such as Estonia, for example.、Um, Japan has started using this system I mean, since 2020, I mean, when the global pandemic COVID 19 hit the entire world. And in order to reduce the risk on the side of the patients as well as the doctors. But still, As of now, the end of June, the 30th of June 2022, we haven't actually seen a great change at all,、um, I must say, because of many reasons, I mean, additional to the kind of I mean, reasons that I have pointed out so far.、Um, the most important is, I think, is the law. I mean, unlike the EU with the GDPR and the data portability, which has been really I mean, enacted since 2015, and together with the kind of data portability, I mean, with a digital single identification system that they are trying to really enact, Japan is quite behind, unfortunately, on the matters of the legal I mean, infrastructure like that. And without that, I personally think, as a law major myself, it is quite difficult to install a system called e medicine unless the privacy is protected, unless you have the data portability on the side of the patient, and unless you can really identify one single individual accurately. And 
Also, I would like to point out regarding the situations of the patient doctor relationship here in Japan. Um, well, I mean, generally speaking, doctors are quite respected everywhere all around the world, I think. But here in Japan, that um, kind of, I mean, a doctors and patient relationship is very, very strong and unique in the sense that um, we, I mean, here in Japan, tend to really call the doctor with a sensei, I mean, I mean, always really addressing, I mean, them in the matter like that. So a kind of, I mean, decision making, a kind of, I mean, well, um, doctor-patient relationship um, situation may be quite unique here in Japan, which could be a kind of, I mean, important decision making factor when it comes to um, e-medicine. I personally think because the kind of when the change, certain change of the huge infrastructure take place, there is always, I mean, has to be a kind of voices of the general public, which may not be so taken care of in my perception here in Japan, in no way comparison with uh, another countries, I mean, some of the European countries or some other countries that I have actually, I mean, seen the data. And next, the importance is the kind of, I mean, um, digital divide, so to speak. The telemedicine or e-medicine is a typical kind of means to make or give advantages for the elderly patients or the elderly people who might have not only a kind of, I mean, infections or, I mean, global pan pandemic related situations, but, I mean, generally speaking, um, chronic, I mean, level of, um, well, I mean, illness or the certain kind of, I mean, deficiencies, I mean, I mean as a tendency. But they tend to live in, the, not in the cities, but in the rural area. So, um, the kind of people who are the most benefit receivers with like e-medicine are the kind of people here in Japan do not have smartphones or do not have any digital um, infrastructure. I mean, number one is because of the, I mean, the kind of not with active in using those devices. And secondly, that is quite important is uh, the lack of penetration ratio of the internet or broadband or uh, mobile network um, when it comes to not really the population but regarding to the area coverages. Well, for example, the satellite internet, for example, with the, um, the kind of actions or, I mean, decision made by um, the Tesla's, I mean, the CEO, Elon Musk, Mr. has done a great deal of penetration coverage of 30 some countries with the satellite internet, which is quite ideal in my perspective or in my analysis for the country like Japan, where the doctor's shortages do exist in the rural areas, while the cities like Tokyo or Osaka and Kyoto have got enough doctors. So there's a huge gap, not only in the digital equipment and digital infrastructure, but at the same time, the available doctors in the kind of wide variety and also, I mean, entire coverage of the entire genre of, I mean, medical services, such as for children or such as for dentists or such as for, well, internal medicines or etc. So that is another problem which has been really making the situations idealistically of realization of the ideal in or telemedicine here in Japan quite difficult, I mean, as a situational analysis in my I mean point of view. And lastly, but most importantly I would like to point out the media literacy. How accurately that the media is actually Telling people, I mean, transparency wise, the government also. Well, um, 
I don't know if my um, recording or also the, this video has been quite or can be quite useful or not, but I'm actually, I mean, putting it open to the public on my YouTube channel. I mean, under my name, Yuki Kudo, that's I mean, Y for yellow, U for uniform, K for kilo, I for India, or for E for echo. My last name, Kudo, is K, I mean, for kilo, U for uniform, D for delta, and O for Oscar. And if you have any questions, I mean, you're more than welcome to give comments to my YouTube channel, I mean, under my name, I mean, as you like, anytime, um, I may be able to answer precisely or more accurately to your needs. And, well, I do hope that I, mean, I was able to, or I can be able to be a part of the small contributions, in spite of the fact that um, I'm not able to participate in this, I mean, exciting and important, I mean, conference. I do hope that the main conference and the meeting will be so successful and uh, we will keep on really working together in order to make the entire world a better place to live and also a better place for all those idealistic I mean, ideas I mean, and ethos, I mean, equality and uh, well, fairness and justice and the truth and the f all those, those idealistic and realizable or, or should be realized value to be I mean sincerely from the bottom of my heart to be realized thank you very much indeed for your kind attention and I do really hope to look forward to um, well, connecting to you all again very soon and in person and simultaneously as well thank you from Yukikudo in Japan